All right, we're back, Bob and Pony, and here we go. Kevin, Squirrel Hill, you're up. What's up, Kevin? Uh, how you doing, Bob? Good, thanks. Uh, my hey, question is, how come when like when the Pirates finally start getting good, you know, getting good and hitting and better, and then they trade them? I mean, if, if they're waiting to look for about uh, four years. Well, because they don't have enough talent in their system, and that's what they're trying to uh, negate, you know, the lack of talent. The only way to do it is to give assets away and try to get more. Now, the key, of course, Andrew, is making sure those guys you get in return not only are good but become regular players, and they've had a hard time doing that. Yeah, I mean, look at the look at the Archer trade for Tampa. Or the Garrett the Cole trade. The number of good players they got. Yeah, and we still don't know what Shane Baz is mm-hmm. going to end up being for Tampa. He looks like he's on a – you know, trajectory to be a really good player too. So that they, the, they, the uh, Rays took like their third best or fourth best starting pitcher and turned him into at least two good major leaguers, maybe three by the end of that trade. So, you know, I guess that's for Ben Charrington. You know, that would be the uh, best case scenario for him to orchestrate and pull off trades like that. But it's just so hard, Bob. I mean, when you're trying to win on a budget, in baseball, and you got teams spending $200 million. I, I'm not going to say it can't be done, but it is really, really hard. You have to be nearly perfect to make it happen. And very and lucky. that's the reality of the situation. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, everything's got to hit at the same time, and if it doesn't, you find yourself in this splintered approach. All right, Kathy and Derry, you'll be our last caller tonight. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Bob. Hey, Andrew. Um, <clears throat> I watch you almost every night, Bob, so I love the program. We appreciate that. Thanks, Kathy. And uh, what I want to ask is, I, I, I got the regular schedule for the Steelers, and there's like, hey, they had all the games and when they're playing and what times, but they, don't, they didn't have the preseason ones yet. Yeah, no, we have them. We have, we have three of them. The first one, is, well, they got four. They have the um, you know, Hall of Fame game coming up against Dallas, and then it's a trip to Philadelphia, home against Detroit, and then at Carolina. So, again, Andrew, I think it's going to be interesting to watch your guy now. That's your called Haskins season. Haskins, right. Haskins versus Rudolph versus Dobbs. <laughs> and I heard or as Kev- Kevin Colbert <laughs> called him, Dobbins. Well, that was a slip of the tongue. I'm willing to go there, but it was kind of funny to listen to. Andrew, we're out of time. Thanks as always. Appreciate it, man. Have a good weekend. Bye, Bob. Enjoy right. your time off. Will do. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you again tomorrow night.